had written an essay, um, and which starts the first chapter of the book. The essay um, is a letter to um, a mother, my mother. Um, my mother is illiterate. It was an attempt to see um, if language can really be a bridge as it is often aspired to be. And, and, and ultimately that um, it could fail. Right? And it, that was exhilarating to me, to be a writer endeavoring in uh, a work, an essay, that should fail from the get-go. Writing a letter in English to an illiterate mother, it's an impossibility. And ultimately it's about uh, uh, how far away we are as a country and as individuals um, and, and, and how sometimes it could take a whole lifetime to get an inch closer but even that inch could be enough, could be so large, so powerful um, that it, it could seem like an achievement, a victory um, for, for, for two people, you know, a mother and a son uh, struggling side by side and yet not really knowing um, how each other feel. Uh, often we think of people in Connecticut as you know, having sweaters tied around their neck and, and with yachts and what have you, going to private schools. But in fact, New England working class life is very rich, very diverse, and, and comes from um, a large makeup of immigrant populations. And so much of literature is inspired by those of um, the white, you know, um, elite. Right? If you think of Proust and Faulkner. Um, and for me, it was important to insist that these bodies were worthy of literature with a capital L. I would hope that readers approach the book, read it, and not necessarily take anything away, you know, not possess anything, but perhaps just more of themselves. They could see more of themselves in the book and they can carry that and, and, and participate um, in more parts of their lives um, than before.